today let's dye some yarn with Cosmos. Okay, so today I have already scoured and pre-mordanted some cotton, linen, and some wool yarn. For the cotton, I scoured it with washing soda, but for the yarn, I just scoured it with some dish soap. Now they're both sitting together in a pre-mordant pot. This pot has alum, a little bit of cream of tartar, as well as some iron water solution that I made. You can see there's all different colors in here. I'm not really concerned. I'm just excited to get to use last year's Cosmos. I do have a pot here. This pot is stained with iron, so you can see that dark sort of rusty color. I did scrub it. I tried doing baking soda. I even used a magic eraser. It didn't really fix it for me. Let's just add in those Cosmos. It's not a huge amount of flowers, but I do have marigolds as well outside, so I might add some marigolds to this, but I first want to try with just the Cosmos. I'm going to turn the heat on to high just to get this heated up and then once it starts to simmer I'll back it down to low. Okay it's been about an hour that these have been simmering in here. I am going to actually pull some of these straight out of the mordant pot and put them right into the dye pot. The first of which is going to be the yarn which is looking like it's taken on a bit of a beige sort of orange color from that iron mordant and I'm just going to put that straight into this dye bath. Oh, that's already getting some color. Let's see what happens there. And I think at the same time, I'll put in this white eyelet cotton. See if we can get some color on that as well. And we'll just leave this in here for another hour. All right, it's later now. And this yarn is looking pretty dark. So I think I'm gonna take it out. So let's get it into the sink. I'll return that back to the stove. So for my rinse this time, I'm gonna fill this bowl with hot water and then I'm gonna just dip the yarn in to rinse it. While the yarn sits in the sink, we can add some of the other items to the dye bath. I want to put in this beautiful orangey brown piece of fabric. Hopefully that'll get a nice color on it. And then let's put in some more of this white fabric. This is just 100% cotton. I'll do another one of those drawstring bags. And there we go, and that is gonna sit in there for another hour. The water is looking pretty much clear, so I'm gonna get this out, and I'm just gonna put it in my colander. We'll let that sit for a little bit to drip, and once it's not fully dripping, I'll get that outside to fully dry. That's a lovely color, though. Very happy with that. You wanna see what the eyelet fabric looks like? It looks like coffee, it's like a coffee-stained color. I love it. So. I'll hang these to dry outside and uh, then I'll show you them tomorrow. And now, before I make dinner, I'm just going to pull out the fabric that is in the dye pot right now. This looks to have taken on a bit of a greenish brown color. The orange has darkened down to more of a brown, which is fine, I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna pull these guys out and let them drip in the sink and then I'll rinse them out and hang them to dry and we'll talk about them tomorrow. See you in the morning. Okay, so if you remember, we started off with this Briggs and Little washed white regal wool and with those Cosmos we were able to get this beautiful dark green. I think it actually turned out so nice and I wanted to show you this color against some of the other colors I've made recently. We did this with onion skins and marigold. Look at how beautiful those two look together. This one we did with avocados. Came out so beautifully orange. Look how pretty those look together. And then here's another one that is an avocado skin, and then check this one out. Goldenrod. I just think these natural dyes work so well together. They just look like they belong together. It's so pretty. I just wanted you to be able to see some of the colors with the one we got yesterday from the Orange Cosmos. Those Bright Lights Cosmos really do create some awesome color. So that's what we got on wool. We also did the eyelet fabric, and that one dried really beautifully. I think it has this sort of tea-stained antique look to it. Remember, it was stark white. So with that in mind, it does have color to it. It's obviously not the most saturated color, but it's still very pretty. I'm happy with it. These ones aren't dry yet, but I wanted to show you them anyway. The exhaust dye bath on the Cosmos still imparted a really beautiful brown onto this linen bag. The brown fabric came out this beautiful 
sort of burnt brown. It was a plain brown prior, but it came out much more warm toned. I think it looks beautiful with this avocado yarn. And then this was stark white and it just sort of turned coffee stained brown. That being said, I'm still really happy with the colors that I got. Even though these ones are pretty pale, that's all right. I'm okay working with some muted tones. This one though is actually really quite something, isn't it? There's our yarn. I think we did great. Anyway, friends, that is it from me for today. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and come back next week for some kind of handmade thing like this. Okay, now for real life. And hey, if you are new here and you would like to join the Patreon, which gives you special private access to the Last Minute Laura Discord server, as well as early releases on videos and lots of other cool stuff too, check out the links in the description down below. You'll be able to find the link to Patreon there and then you'll get all of that information. Okay, now for real life. Bye.